Welcome back to Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. You know, they did get all the rivers and streams and lakes stocked for the two opening days. Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission is still going to be stocking trout throughout the season. Walt Buckman, a waterways conservation officer, met us in Wayne County to do a little stocking. Today we're at uh, Upper Woods Pond and we're going to stock some trout in here today. And right after this, we're going to head down to the dye berry into the fly fishing only section and below that section and stock some trout as well. And it should be a great day today and uh, tomorrow's looking pretty good as well. Physically, when the truck pulls up, what do they do? Put hoses on these? Tell me how we're going to stock today. So we'll do it a couple of different ways. Here at Upper Woods and at most lakes across the state, what we do is uh, we put the hoses on the truck and we simply pump the fish in. Um, it makes it much easier on the fish. It's a quick process and uh, we'll allow, we'll probably take some nets out if there are some people uh, here today to be able to have them see the product. We want to show off the product. It's a great product uh, that the fish culturists put out. Uh, they're really super nice fish. I think people will find on the opening day the, uh, that the fish are really quite nice. All right, let's go here. Show us how to do this, Well, <laughs> So we grab the bottom of it, right? Beautiful. Hey. Go back the other way. Go back the other way. There we go. <laughs> There's a beauty. There's Take a that beauty. One. Oh, that's a, There's a beautiful that's fish. That's a nice fish. Take a look at that. And there they go. So when you talk about a lake like this, this is a pretty unique situation. Fish and Boat Commission ramp on a Game Commission property. This is a good marriage, isn't it? Yeah, it's a great partnership and we work well. The WCOs in the field work with the game wardens and, and uh, vice versa. And it's, it's a great partnership to have. I mean, it's a beautiful place. The game lands are awesome here. It's great hunting and it's really good fishing right here. And so, um, like I said, it's, it's just a good partnership to have. And we have those kinds of partnerships across the state and we work well uh, with uh, our sister agency and the Game Commission. That's a golden rainbow right there. Future angler checking out a trophy. There you go. Gotta love that. Beautiful. Uh, that's Yay! <laughs> There's a special regulation that in, keeps people safe, right? Like uh, wearing, uh, wearing PFDs? Oh, ab absolutely. So it's called cold weather wear, where we mandate that people who are going to be out on our lakes uh, or any lake across the state needs to be wearing the proper life jacket until the end of April. And that's because the water temperatures are really cold. And if you get immersed in that water out there, Don, uh, it doesn't take long for hypothermia to set in. I think probably when we check the water temperature today. It wouldn't surprise me to be uh, around 44, 45 degrees. That's really cold and you don't want to be in that water for too long. After emptying the better part of a truck into Upper Woods, it was time to stock a section of the Dyberry Creek, starting with the fly fishing section. I th I think what we'll do is, if you don't mind, sure. Where you go? so that s nobody has to break their ankles. So we're doing this fly fishing area first. Okay. And there's only 500 fish that go in here. So it's about um, 20 buckets. Okay. And we'll make three stops, uh, but to, so that nobody has to get hurt. And, and uh, why don't we just, yeah, we'll just chain them down right here off of here and we'll make it real easy. So here's why having volunteers is so important two buckets, steep, dangerous bank. So what are they gonna do? They're gonna do the old ladder them down, ladder them up. Throw the fish in, another beautiful golden right there. Boom, stocked. Bucket comes back up, hands it to another guy. Another bucket is here. Fireman's chain, or whatever they call this. This is why you need volunteers. Yeah. This is why you need volunteers. Yeah, everybody, everybody gets to help, and uh, we do it in a safe way, so that um, 
nobody breaks an ankle. Nobody has to keep coming back and forth. And you can break an ankle on these rocks, yes. that's for sure. And so, and this is the fly fishing section that of is correct. the of main the branch of, of the, the diver. diver. Correct, yep. And people like to get involved. Sure. So when you're talking about the Dieberry Creek, you were telling me yesterday, pretty popular, isn't it? It's a super popular place. I mean, first of all, it's popular with local people. It's popular with people out of the Scranton area and even popular with people that are from out of state. They love to come up here to northeastern Pennsylvania and to Wayne County, especially to Dieberry, which seems to be a real destination spot for families. So there are in-season stockings too. What's the best way for somebody to learn about those, maybe show up and help you? Yeah, that's great. I mean, we welcome the help. I mean, uh, we want to show off the product, like I said, and we welcome the help. Uh, we can't do this without the general public. So they can go to our website, which is fishandboat.com. All of the pre-season and the in-season trout stocking schedules are posted on our website. And again, we welcome the general public to come out and, and to help. And I see today, looks like we have quite a few people showing up and so we should have a good time. And Walt, thank you very much for walking us through that afternoon. We had a good time. And that stream itself in a lot of the sections were stocked right before the opening day. So hopefully people were able to catch some fish. We're gonna take a short break and we'll be right back. <laughs> 